This video is about DIM. What is DIM? DIM is a supplement that looks pretty much like this. As you can see, it says it's for menopause, uh, it's associated with estrogen, and so on. And this is what internet says about DIM. DIM helps estrogen stay in its healthiest form, which is associated with reduced risk of severe menopause or PMS. DIM and estrogen, excessive estrogen or being estrogen dominant causes many uncomfortable symptoms. DIM is best known as a nutrient that supports healthy estrogen metabolism. DIM is a phytoestrogen and not an anti-estrogen. DIM may stimulate the production of less potent, more beneficial form of estrogen known as 2. Hydroxyestrone, which is actually estrogen type 2 is the inactive form of estrogen it may also help reduce the effect of stronger form called 16 that's actually the active form of estrogen because uh, there are more forms of estrogen type 16 is active type 2 is inactive and this is what pubmed says about dim this is a study on dim this is dim supplements on urinary hormone metabolites in postmenopausal women and uh, the conclusion is that in this pilot study DIM increased the 2 hydroxylation of estrogen urinary metabolites what does it mean it means that DIM increased the estrogen type 2 and decreased the estrogen type 16 uh, see a non significant increase of 47 percent in the estrogen type 2 versus estrogen type 16 ratio from 146 to 214 Okay, so this is what it does. It increases estrogen type 2 and decreases estrogen type 16. What does that mean? Why do you want estrogen type 2 and not estrogen type 16? And this is why some women want estrogen type 2. Increased estrogen type 2 is associated with lower body fat and increased lean body mass in postmenopausal women. What does it mean? It means that women who have more estrogen type 2, they have more lean body mass and less body fat. So they just lose weight and they look like they are more fit. Okay, but this is the good side of it. As you can see, it says here, in conclusion, in postmenopausal women, an increase in the metabolism of estrogen towards the inactive metabolites is associated with lower body fat and higher lean mass than those with predominance of metabolism towards the active metabolites. Okay, so that's why women want to take them. But this next study says that increased estrogen type 2 in women with a family history of osteoporosis so women take them in order to lose fat and get lean mass but what happens they get osteoporosis here it says recent studies indicate that women with predominant estrogen type 2 which is inactive have lower bone mineral density compared with those with predominant active estrogen type 16 why is that well apparently this finding that calcium intake modulates estrogen hydroxylation has never been reported and thus deserves additional investigation so they just uh, 
figured out something and they wish to investigate it further more but the conclusion is that these women also had significantly lower bone density at the total femur so i'd say if you're a woman uh, it's probably better to stay away from them if you don't want to get osteoporosis.